In this video from the studiofiles.com, I'm going to show you how to make and use instrument tracks in Logic Pro. This is very much like the article I posted earlier and very close to the Pro Tools video, except for it's in Logic Pro, and I thought a video would be a lot better. So let's create a new track in the Arrange window. Track New. And we're going to create one new software instrument. Now for the output, I have bus 1 because of some weird routing I have going in the background so that you can hear the output of my Logic Pro, but normally it'll be just selected as output 1 and 2 and that should be fine. Now let's make this track a little bit bigger. If you notice, Logic automatically opened up the library browser for us, which is very cool. In doing this, you can click on any of these instruments that you want and Logic will automatically load the settings onto your instrument. So let's pick a keyboard, maybe a clavinet, and a direct clav. And if you go ahead and play your MIDI keyboard, Notice it automatically opens up. Now if we wanted to switch instruments, it's as easy as clicking another browser here. Let's go for a European Celtic harp. Very easy. If you want to make music very, very quickly, this is a great way to do it, simply by clicking on what kind of instrument you want. You can always tweak it later, but to get a good bass, this is awesome. Now here's another way to edit your instrument tracks. Let's make a new instrument track, just like we did before. This time, rather than using the loop browser, let's go into the mixer window with Apple II. And if you go to the input for that track and click on there, you'll notice there's all the different instruments that come with Logic. And you can pick whichever one you want. Let's pick the electric piano. And just like we talked about with the aux sends video, use presets to get you started if you're not familiar with the programs. So let's pick a, let's pick a suitcase. And if you play, you're ready to go. Very fast. Now there's one final way to make tracks, and this is kind of a cool, it's very similar to the library browser. If you go to the channel strip setting and click on that, you'll notice it looks just like the loop browser, only a little bit different. So let's pick maybe an acoustic guitar. And Logic will load that up, and if you play that... Awesome. So this is just a very quick intro to instruments, but you'll notice that they're very powerful in Logic Pro and definitely a great feature to learn as much as you can about. 